again. The vlog crazy guy, according to some people. Anyway, it was a three show week. Thursday at the Stitch. Friday at Tom and Jerry's. And Saturday at 1402. And we'll hit them one at a time. Along with all the videos and whatever else I can come up with. And try to cram it all into five minutes. <laughs> Uh, the week started off with going up to the truck on Thursday, meeting up with Greg. Greg was following me up there with Alan driving, and he had a passenger as well. And we split up the gear between the two vehicles. And so before we got there, I took a little video of what happened at the ridge, sort of. This is a previous. Uh, and from the last show that we did, we have to see that these guys are all intact. They made it. So there you go, Dave. There's your test. Uh, I captured some video right around the same place I captured the other time from the vlog two weeks ago. <clears throat> and uh, I don't look so good because I didn't shave, so... I'm not into showing this video too much, but I'll show you the key points where I was shoving the camera out the window and showing uh, Alan driving behind me with Gregory. And the first one you can kind of see Greg because you, know, you know Greg is. He's, uh, he's, uh, watch. I tried to get some shots of the city on the way in, and this was, I guess, the best I could do from outside the city. Otherwise, inside the city, you can see your stuff right in front of you. But this is outside the city before we go to the tunnel. traffic outside the tunnel, and this is before we went in, um, it uh, looks like the scene from Find Me Guilty, except we're on the other side, uh, Find Me Guilty, Vin Diesel, you should watch it, it's a pretty good movie, it's about the longest Ooh. trial in history, anyway, and then uh, going through the tunnel, bang that video right up against the other one. So, while I was going through the tunnel there, I had the radio on, 92.3 K-Rock, and they went talk as well, just like 94.1 did. And they were talking about uh, Lisa Lowe showing up on the show with a, a thong on or something. So, I went and found it. Here it is for you. I don't know why. The devil made me do it. Isaac, is this okay, like these underwear? Wow! All right! Wait, hold on. Actually, I knew she was fearless, but she has a cute butt, so I would do it if I was a cute butt. Hi, Mom. Now, if you don't know who Lisa Loeb is, um, she's the only unsigned artist who had a number one hit song. And apparently everybody knew the words. Well, sort of. And here's that. The point is... You don't have to talk about the tragic side of tragedy all the time. 
You've got to lighten things up. And that's what Fox News did yesterday on Dayside, when, after a show full of hurricane warnings and murder investigations, host Julia Huddy treated the audience to a little Lisa Loeb. You say I only hear what I want to. You say I talk so all the time. So, and I thought what I felt was simple. And I thought that I don't belong. Lisa, how's the rest of that song go? Because I missed you. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Anyway, so I guess we got a little off track there. Um, this, the point was the stench. We went up there on Thursday. And so we finally get there. And this time, uh, to avoid the two microphone situation, I brought everything. I brought uh, my mic box, I brought a bunch of mic cables, and turns out in the meantime they also changed their system a little bit. They had some side fills in there, they had uh, a bigger board, uh, so mic'd everything out, uh, got a sound check, uh, got all the levels right and everything, and got as close to perfect as we could, and we're ready for the show. Again, two buses came up. <clears throat> this time it was a different company. And Brian Chebby, he drove one on BC in a hizzy. He drove one up, and they got to park outside all night, as well as me parking out outside all night. So it was a good deal as far as parking goes in New York City for that Thursday night. Um, here's a video from the show. It was mayhem again. And... This was a portion of the show where I was supposed to push a button that I didn't push. And I didn't even realize that I didn't push the button until afterwards. Um, this was the, the first of two times that I, uh, I got duped by the set list this week. Um, so I think I have to start marking up my own set list. But it, it said Seg Black. And I didn't realize that Seg Black you have to read the next song because then you know what the heck that means. Seg, I'm supposed to play something, but I didn't play it. But Bob started before I would have played it anyway. So, anyway, you'll see the mayhem that ensues when all that's supposed to go on. This is the only thing I shot from there, and because I was supposed to be doing other things, and uh, I'm not supposed to be shooting videos while I'm supposed to be doing my job. in a row. Last time I said tippy tippy. And I really did say tippy tippy top. This time I said super super fast. So it was very very quick to get out of there. But the buses stuck around a lot longer than they did last time. Last time I was like get out let's go boom. This time they stuck around till midnight. So we left at midnight and I uh, waited behind the bus and I followed the buses. Um, here's me behind the bus. Well, I'm behind the octane bus. It's a Dina. Sitting here waiting to go through the Holland Tunnel. It's a big bus. Still got Greg behind me. Can't shake him. Okay, well that's the Octane bus, at least from what I see of it. The ASN. So I sit there at the ASN of the bus means the back of the bus. But speaking of ass and buses, apparently there was a lot of ass and busing going on. On the way there and on the way back. And I did catch that on the side when I crept up on the side. Chevy 
said that I uh, didn't come all the way up and look, but I. So, uh, tunnel ride back. They had one lane closed, so there's a lot of traffic. And then coming down the turnpike, there was an airplane really, really low. Oh, I double over it again. And uh, you can't really tell it's really close, but it's really close. Um, so here's that plane coming down. Airplane. So I followed the buses for a while, stopped at the rest stop, saw Brian in there, cranking out pennies, and uh, followed for a while, but then I thought, what the heck am I following the buses for? I have no reason, and they're going so slow. They're only going like 70. I like to do 90. It's a personal preference. Um, so I get home, and I unload the car into the truck. This time I turned the light off and made sure everything was all set to go for the next night. So that was it. That was the stitch deal. Uh, one set at the stitch and all that preparation and all that uh, cleaning up afterwards. Um, it's certainly an event and I get to do it all by myself. Um, because Alex and Dave, they work on Friday so they can't go up to New York. So. That's it for the snitch. The next night, Tom and Jerry's. Tom and Jerry's, we get there uh, for a 9 o'clock load in. Um, there's a happy hour band there, and I was going to meet Alex a little bit earlier there, but time just seems to fleet. Um, and I also had to stop on the way there for uh, some Vin Diesel. Um, I didn't realize, I guess, when I got back from, uh, I guess it was Delaware, that I needed some fuel. And so instead of risking running out of fuel, I made a stop and put some fuel in the tent. Um, load in, three sets, octane fun. Um, I was very close to the stage because I was set up in basically the middle of the room they installed some booths where I used to go. Um, I don't really like using the house board there because it's got uh, auxes that are inside of auxes. It's like got a center knob around an outer knob and they don't always turn independently and <clears throat> I do use a lot of effects for different effects and uh, it's much more comfortable using my own stuff. So that's what we did. Um, monitor board, power supply, fried up cease to be, cease to exist. It's a dead parrot. Uh, monitor board power supply. Um, so, being the prepared person that I am, went out in the truck, got the spare power supply, and put that up and got on monitors for the night. Um, I hope I either put a video behind me or I put one next to me, or here's the video.
together, everybody ready? Friday night there. Don't normally play there Friday nights. You should play there Thursday nights. In fact, the uh, first night back from vacation in September is at Tom and Jerry's on a Thursday night. Um, so that's basically it. Loaded out of there. Um, oh, and Rob was there at the end of the night. Turns out he had some car trouble. Um, is bolts were falling out. <clears throat> so we hung around there and uh, finally went into the, the truck, went into Lopez, got an Allen key for the guy, and he was able to tighten up what he had to tighten up and get home. I was, I was saying to him the next night, I said, you know, the, the, the crew's getting to be like the Marines, you know, we, we're going to leave no one behind. So uh, helped Rob out and we got out of there and drove home and I said too much. I said it now. Uh, 1402. Next. So, 1402 was on that Saturday. And it was Saturday, August 5th, 2006. It has been a very long time since we were at 1402. I fact that I, in fact, I could have probably looked it up and told you. But I didn't. What kind of a person am I? that wouldn't tell you the last time we were there. Hang on a second. I will look it up. We were last there July 9th, 2005. So it's over a year. And I remember back then they really liked the band. And uh, this time they really liked the band. They really liked us. Um, so many references I make. Anyway, um, that was uh, different this time in the truck. Last time we ramped over these steps and came in a different door this time. Uh, oh, and Jeffrey was there. That was the infamous, infamous uh, you got everything out of the case incident. And uh, this time we loaded around the other side because we had the lift gate and the, lift the uh, and the drum case fit. It was all cool. And we loaded in and the lights went out. Uh huh, uh huh. And we set it all up. The front of the house is. Mile away up front, and uh, uh, I've seen other bands set up closer, and I thought about that after we set up. Um, I like the acoustic set there. I like that everybody gets to get back, drink some beers, and then uh, get ready for the all ensuing electric mayhem. Um, there's a video there I got of a new song that they're doing that I don't know the name of it or anything. But I like this song. It's not bad. Um
out another video of uh, bodies because I can leave the floor. There is a leave the boards because there isn't much going on for that song. And I come up front and I get uh, close to the stage. I go around to the side where Alex is, and it's low light, low light camera. So I flick the uh, monitor board light on Alex's face. You can hardly see it, but you can hear him. And then I come around the front and Greg spots me and he starts giving me some action for the camera. Of course, his face is all blacked out because he's got light behind him instead. Anyway, that is pretty cool. And then I run to the back and uh, do my thing. Come on, a little bit of one, two, three, four. Help me out. Here we go. Say something after I say that. Park City, damn you. Um, we got some Jaeger stuff, some uh, paraphernalia, and uh, loaded out and went to the Wawa. And I had my first Wawa shake just because it was there. I had to have one. And it wasn't bad. Um, got to the Turnpike. And the sky was so pretty that I had to videotape. I used to do that coming over the truck, the sun coming up and stuff. But anyway, here's a video of that. Uh, in fact, I think I backgrounded it on. So then I guess I'm done. That was it. The three day week, which seemed like uh, Thursday was so far away from Saturday. But they weren't, they were just two days apart. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Snitch, Tom and Jerry's 1402. Heck of a week. And, uh, we got a heck of a week coming up. Which I don't know what that is either. But, uh, I'll go check again. So, yes, I checked. And, uh, this week coming up on August 10th, 2006, we got the Grape Street Pub. Grape Street Pub located in Manion. Um, on Friday is 15 North. Friday the 11th of August, and then Saturday, August 12th, it's Whiskey Tango, back at the Tango in Northeast Philadelphia. So I hope to see you out at those shows. Again, let us know what you think of the vlogs. Let us know what's going on with you, uh, whatever, you know, get, in, get involved in the site, participate, get in the forums, interaction, go back and forth, leave some comments, sign the guest book, um, whatever. Get an OctaneCrew.com t-shirt. If we had them. Alright, I'll see you later. It's that time again. To go late.